Hey guys, welcome back to the Finding a New Tennis Racket series of videos. And today I'm going to be testing the Head Boom. And I have three versions here, the Pro, the MP, and the MP Lite. And if you look at the CPI, which is the Control Power Index, the Pro is coming in at 400, the MP is coming in at 600, and the MPL is coming in at 700. So the closer the number on the CPI index is, to a thousand the more power the racket has so based on these numbers these appear to be power rackets which is something that i'm looking for so the head boom mpl has an unstrung weight of 270 it is three points headlight and has a stiffness of 62. the mp comes in at 295 grams unstrung has a stiffness of 62 and is six points headlight the Pro comes in at 310 grams unstrung, has a stiffness of 64 and is 7 points headlight. Another interesting difference between these three models is the beam width. I don't know if you can tell, but the Pro has a thinner beam compared to the MP and the MPL. The Pro is 22 millimeters, while the MP and the MPL are 24 millimeters in width. And a while back I made a video about responsive rackets and you can see how some of the specs correlate to the racket being more responsive. So for example, a thinner beam, a tighter string pattern, the weight being more in the handle will generally make a racket less responsive. And when you put more of the weight of the racket towards the head, if you make the beam wider, you make the string pattern more open, that generally correlates to a more responsive racket. If you watch my head speed review, you know that I complained about the grip being too short. And I can tell you that the grip on the boom is slightly longer. So this is something that I pay attention to because I hate when my index finger of my left hand is on the racket throat and it's definitely not on the boom. The grip is long enough. However, I do wish that it was just a tad longer. I like a little bit more of a gap between my index finger and the throat. First impression of the MPL, very positive. Racket is maneuverable, it feels stiff. I think the RA sometimes is not accurate because to me this feels closer to 68, 69 RA. So it's a very responsive racket. And despite the low weight, my back end doesn't feel bad. So it's a good feeling overall. Sometimes these light models can be customized to your liking. Maybe you like the specs better on the light versus the MP or the Pro and you just customize the light to your liking and make it a little bit heavier. This is exactly what I might need to do with this one and get this one closer to 300. But so far, the first impression with the MPL, very positive. All right, now the Boom MP and this one is 295 static weight and there's more weight in the handle. So it's more headlight. Oh, first impression, very positive. I like this one. So it is a tad more maneuverable compared to the other one. And 295 is a weird weight for our MP. Normally I would think they would put it 300, but I'm not opposed to playing with a little bit lighter racket. Five grams is not that much. And again, you can always customize it and add five grams. But again, first impression with the MP, very positive. So the first two booms that I tested are for sure power rackets and the Boom Pro based on the specs, I think there's gonna be a little bit more of a control feel. So let's find out. Not really, uh, there's a lot of response from this one as well. All three of these rackets are power rackets for sure, but this one does feel a tad more muted, no doubt about it. So you do have to swing with this one. But I gotta tell you, so far I'm very positively surprised by the booms. This one for sure, is the most maneuverable one. So I take a bigger cut. I feel like the mass gives me more stability. I can swing faster. And it's also very maneuverable. Ah! Uh. The pro feels the best on the back end. It's not even close. And drop shot. All right, so far I like all three. I couldn't tell you which one I like the best but I have to find out by playing out some points. All right, let's start with the Boom MPL coming in at 270 grams unstrung. Definitely felt the 270 on that slice. Did not have a lot of control on that one.
I'm very picky with rackets on my backhand, and this one feels amazing on the backhand. Forehand, not as good, obviously. I am spraying quite a bit, but this is for sure a good two-handed backhand racket. So the CPI index of 700 might be a little bit too much for me to handle. I'm having a hard time getting the ball in the court. All right, I'm on the board. So this is one of those rackets that I would have to get used to a little bit. I obviously can't swing full out, or if I do, I'm gonna have to add more spin. See, towards the end of the tie break, I'm starting to get more balls in the court. Again, a little bit too much. Let the collude. So you can see on that last forehand, not a lot of control there, but again, I'm very positively surprised by the boom. Now this MP has a power index of 600, slightly lower, and it's also heavier coming in at 295 unstrung. I'm very excited to hit with this one. Night and day. Guys, it's so weird, but out of all the rackets that I tried so far, this might be the best racket for my two-hander. Oh Serve, for sure, not bad, but also not 100%. Be aggressive here. So, despite the MP being more stable than the MPL, I'm still spraying some forehands. Now, of course, it's not all on the racket, those were bad forehands, but still, I'm not feeling that much control on the forehand side when I go a little bit harder. Definitely the racket's fault there. No, just kidding. I've been bent at all on that forehand. That was all me. So with the MP, it's definitely a nice racket for the right player, but I don't think I'm gonna be choosing that one. I was spraying way too much still. I was lacking control for sure. And now I'm using the Pro, which has a CPI of 400. So this racket is muted. It's got a slightly thinner beam a smaller racket head size, and it's also heavier, coming in at 310 grams on strong. Wow, wait a second. Completely different racket, guys. Way different from the MPL and the MP. It's more muted, but it's still a power racket. The Pro is also not as stiff as the other two rackets, so at the moment of contact, there's a little bit more control. The ball doesn't shoot off quite as fast as with the other two. So far, so good. Even though I lost that point, those strokes felt pretty decent. The serve feels pretty good with this one, for sure better than with the other two booms, but not 100%. I'm still looking for that serve racket. I haven't found it yet. You, heard me like back end down the line. Killer. you probably think I'm being facetious, hitting two aces and I'm complaining about the serve, but even though I hit those aces, I'm just going by the feel. It didn't feel like the ball came off the racket that effortlessly on the serve. I didn't get that much free power. So even though I hit aces, it didn't necessarily feel that great. Oh. 
So there's a huge difference between the Pro and the other ones and the muted feel. So this one by far has the least amount of power, but I feel like I like this one the best because it's giving me a little bit more control, especially on the forehand. I still don't like it 100% on my forehand, but out of these three, I like the Pro the best. I can already tell you that. back end does feel pretty good all right last point and then the final verdict so all three booms are phenomenal rackets there are going to be so many players that are going to find the specs on each one of these three to their liking and i did like all three of them but unfortunately i didn't like them enough so it's hard to say what exactly i dislike about the boom it might not necessarily be the specs it could be the way the racket is designed i don't really like the throat it feels a little bit too edgy for me i don't necessarily like the design and those things don't matter that much when i'm hitting the ball but for sure it can have a psychological effect where you're just not happy with the racket and you don't play your best tennis but there's just something slightly off with the specs on all three i will say that i like the pro the best out of these three by far but unfortunately i'm gonna have to discontinue all booms from my final playtest video